flesh saw corruption. But he whom God raises up saw no corruption. This is the one that the Father has begotten, like the pastor was talking about. And this is the Son of Man. It was foretold, foreordained, it was appointed, it was elected by God that he would see no corruption. There's two reasons why. He says, would see no corruption. It says, therefore, well, first of all, the two reasons is, is that he was not sown in corruption. There were only three people that were not sown in corruption, right? Adam and Eve and the Son of Man. But Adam and Eve saw corruption because they defiled themselves. The Son of Man never defiled himself. He was faithful and obedient because he was led by the Holy Spirit. And so he saw no corruption. He fulfilled the law. And just a few more verses here. It says, therefore, let it be known. Let it be known to you, brethren. I was talking primarily to the Jews. But the Jews weren't listening. But he said, let it be known, brethren, that through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of sins. <clears throat> the forgiveness of sins. And by him, everyone who believes is justified. Justified from all, from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. But the Son of Man was justified by the law of Moses because he was the only one that was perfect and was able to fulfill it. So, Father, we thank you for this forgiveness. We thank you that it's indiscriminate. And it comes to those who believe by conviction, Lord. We thank you for the conviction that you promised would come to the world. And so, Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for Christ Jesus. We thank you that he died for not just our sins, but the sins of the world. But, Father, you enabled us to believe. And we do believe. And we praise you for it. Help us to be faithful in preaching the gospel that changes lives. Christ Jesus, in his name we pray. Amen. Amen.